Hey everyone, this is Mike from uh, Real Life Counseling, and I want to talk about um, the uh, the thing that cannot be named. Uh, and you all know what I'm talking about, the current situation that we're going under, and apparently uh, anybody even mentions uh, what's going on and uh, the name of it or the initials, uh, people are getting blocked and all sorts of things, which is a little frightening. Um, but the, uh, the, the thing that must not be named um, uh, is, uh, is really uh, impacting people. And it's impacting people in a variety of ways, but I'm going to talk in this video about two ways that this is really having an impact on people. By isolating ourselves and by not going to work, people all of a sudden realize how important other people are and how important their job is, where they feel productive. They feel valued. Very often work is a place where they socialize to some extent, even if they're not friends. Um, just being around people every day, as, as much as people may sometimes uh, drive you crazy, uh, it's important to be around people. And so this current situation of, of people uh, isolating and quarantining and uh, socially distancing is really bringing into clear focus how important relationships of all kinds really, uh, uh, really are to people, and also the importance of doing things, going out, being productive, um, having feeling as if you have some purpose and meaning in your life. Now, um, two areas of, of counseling um, deal with that. So first is uh, logotherapy. And logotherapy is a kind of existential therapy, and I've talked about it before. You can see some of my other videos on it. Uh, this is about the fact that people need to have some meaning in their life. That whatever a person has, whether it's money or fame or power or whatever it is, um, we need to feel as if we have some value, some purpose, some that we're leaving some legacy in our lives. And when people can't volunteer, they can't go out in the world, they can't work, um, even in contact with their family, which very often provides a lot of meaning. Um, for some people, uh, um, religious worship, or at least spiritual practices, uh, they start to feel a little empty inside. They start to feel like, well, what's going on? I'm not, I'm not feeling whole. I'm feeling as if there's something missing in my life. Uh, and there is. That, it's that purpose. It's that meaning. So logotherapy and um, other existential therapies help people uh, find meaning in their and this could be a good time for people to develop the idea of what is meaningful. Because, this, by the way, this also happens when people retire. They spent their whole life doing something. All of a sudden, they're retired. They think this, it's going to be great. I'm going to travel around the world. And they miss that lack of meaning and that purpose. Um, and we don't have to just get purpose and meaning from our jobs, although many people do. Um, but exploring what it is that gives you a deeper connection to the world that is um, more more meaningful and um, profound and deep uh, really is is important, and this could be a good time to explore that. The second the second area is um, a choice theory uh, or um, reality therapy it talks about that people have um, a number of needs. There are certain needs that we all have, and one of them, and probably in many cases one of the most significant of them is the need for uh, love and belonging, the need to be connected to people. Um, you know, we have other needs, right? We have survival needs, of course, and we have the need for a certain amount of freedom and autonomy and a certain sense of feeling empowered and, and, and competent and successful and uh, things like that. But the need for belonging, for connection, for love, is really and we're seeing this now, when people can't do that, they can't interact with their friends, even family. Sometimes people are isolating within their own homes and not even touching their, their, their spouses or, or, or hugging their kids. Um, and so this, again, is a reminder of um, the importance of, of connections. Um, some people, and, and any connection, some people have connections with their pets, and that's great too. I mean, having any kind of love and affection, um, you know, obviously, uh, we're, as people, we're social beings, and having contact with other people to at least some extent is important. 
So I would I want to encourage people to use this time to explore um, some meaning and purpose in their life. What is it that gives you meaning? To um, think about the need that you have for, for other people and for connection with people. Um, I would encourage you to read books by uh, William Glasser. Um, he's uh, the founder um, of Reality Therapy. He was the founder, passed away a number of years ago, but uh, he's got some great great books on it. And uh, again, the late Viktor Frankl, who developed Logotherapy. Um, and it might be time to uh, take a look at some of those and uh, see what you think and um, just reconnect with things that are a little bit more meaningful and a little bit more connected. So I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's safe, safe and staying, uh, staying in. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.